Introduction The Europeans had established colonization in Asia and Africa. In comparison with Asia, decolonization had rapidly begun in Africa. In this chapter, we will learn about the geographical features of Africa, its colonization and decolonization. Geography of Africa After Asia, Africa is the second largest continent. The African continent was called the Unknown Continent during the 18th century because of its thick forests, vast lakes and deserts. The area of this continent is 3 crores 2 lakhs 77,135 square kilometers including islands. It is divided into two main parts on the basis of religion and ethnicity. It is also divided into two parts due to the Sahara Desert. It is divided into four divisions. 1. Black Africa 2. Union of South Africa and Rhodesia 3. Egypt 4. Maghreb There are differences between the two parts in the fields of culture, religion and political history. Colonization in Africa Europeans Mungo Park Captain Speck Sir Samuel Baker David Livingstone and H. M. Stanley had studied the internal parts of Africa. Stanley published the informative books Through the Dark Continent and In the Darkest Africa. Due to the Industrial Revolution, growing population and rising imperialism, European nations such as England, France, Belgium, Holland, Arab and Germany competed to acquire colonies in Asia and Africa. Belgium was the first nation to concentrate its attention on Africa. The second king of Belgium, Leopold, established his own free settlement state in the Congo region of Africa. He exploited the people of Congo. As he accumulated wealth for his oppression and exploitation, the Legislative Council of Belgium removed Congo from Leopold's authority and called Congo a Belgian colony. Thus, the first European colony was established in Africa. Colonization in Africa After Belgium established its colony in Africa, other European nations made their own colonies to exploit natural resources such as gold and silver. They used African colonies to sell cheap products and to buy raw material. Portugal was the first European nation which founded a permanent colony in Africa on the border of Ghana. Portugal took over Angola and established a new colony on the border of Western Africa named Mozambique. Spain had powered over Guinea coast, some region of Morocco and some region of Rio de Oro. The Dutch established colonies at Cape Town, Orange Free State and Transvaal. France colonized Senegal and Gabon at the western border of Africa, Northern Congo and Ivory Coast and Dahomey. Up to 1914, the French controlled the region from Sahara Desert of North South Africa to West Ivory Coast and up to French Guinea. The British established their colony and marketplace for slaves in Sierra Leone. Up to 1906, England controlled the region's Cape of Good Hope, Natal, Transvaal, Rhodesia, 
Orange Free State, Nyasaland, Zanzibar, Pemba, and Uganda. In 1920, British established Union Territory with the combination of the four colonies, that is, Cape of Good Hope, Natal, Orange Free State, and Transvaal. Chancellor Bismarck of Germany established his first colony in West North Africa through his trade policy in 1883. German researcher Dr. Gustav Nachtigall was sent to establish German control over Togoland, Cameroon and Angra Pequena. Through the Treaty of Self-Defense between Germany and the Negro King, Germany established its right over Togoland. Germany established its right over Southwest Africa in the 1884-85 Berlin Conference. Effects of colonization in Africa were as follows. Undeveloped and backward countries became weak in the fields of economic wealth, including natural resources. Slavery system started. Native occupations and industries decreased and native people became poor. The original culture and lifestyle of natives were forcibly changed. Europeans supported the local monarchies in Africa and injustice and exploitation increased. Trade of slaves European people took advantages of backwardness of Africans to capture and sell them as slaves. Portuguese traders had taken African slaves with them to Portugal. Slaves worked hard for their masters in newly established European colonies. Slaves trade was inhuman, cruel and unjust. The common people of Europe showed their sympathy and helped Negro slaves to escape. American thinkers such as Martin Luther King spent their lives to root out slavery and racial discriminations. In America, a law was passed against slave trade and slaves were released. However, the slave trade continued in Arabian countries. After the British established their power over Nyasa land and Uganda, the Arabs were stopped from obtaining slaves. Decolonization of Africa As the African locals became aware of their economic exploitation, poverty and slavery, the spirit of nationalism was imbibed in African colonies. Wame Kruma got freedom to the Gold Coast colony, known as Ghana region, by organization of national movement in 1957. Jomo Kenyatta from Kenya organized the Mau Mau movement and Kenya became free from British rule. Robert Mugabe's Patriotic Front Party fought against the British and obtained freedom to the nation in West Rhodesia, now known as Zimbabwe. Nelson Mandela fought a long battle in South Africa against colonialism and discrimination. Before the end of 20th century, all colonies were free. The African National Movement was accompanied by freedom movements in other countries. India, Brahmadesh and Sri Lanka received freedom. England released other colonies in Africa and Asia. France, Holland, Portugal, etc. spoiled national movements, so Ghana, Rhodesia and Kenya obtained freedom very late.